again then. Mm, not then. <laughs> and today I'm here with an unhaul video. I have a, quite a few books beside me that I've been keeping in my little rainbow case thing, but there's a lot in there. So I figured that I would share them with you before I bring them off to the thrift store. So without further ado, let us get started. The first book that I have is called From Bad to Cursed by Katie Allender, and this is the third book in the Bad Girls Don't Cry series. I have the first book, thought I didn't have the third book, but it turns out I don't have the second book, and I actually already have the third book. So I bought another copy of this for no good reason because I already owned it. It, so don't need two on my shelf. The next book that I have is When I Was the Greatest by Jason Reynolds and I ended up giving this a three out of five stars. My rule is if I don't give it a 3.5 or higher then it has to go back to the thrift store so that's where this one is heading. The next book I have I hated with a passion but it is Tantalize by Cynthia Leitich Smith and I gave it a one out of five stars. I'm thinking about doing a rant review on it because I have a lot that I could say on it so so let me know if that's something you guys would want or not, but I hate this book. It's stupid. The next book I have is On the Edge by Alison Van Dypen, and I gave this a 2 out of 5 stars, and again, the rule is 3.5 or higher or else it goes away, so is going away. The next book I have is The Lonely Dead by April Henry. I gave this a 2 out of 5 stars. It was just really juvenile in my opinion and I didn't really enjoy it very much. I was really hyped for it when I got sent it because it's about this girl who can talk to dead people but was not here for it so. The next book I have is Dark Ties by Chris Ewan and I actually did like this book. I gave it a three out of five stars but it was super predictable so I didn't rate it any higher so I'm never gonna reread it so it's leave it. The next book I have I did not like very much but it is Stealing Snow by Daniel Page. I gave this a 1.5 out of 5, I believe. It was just really confusing. I had no idea what was going on half the time, and I don't like books where I don't understand what's happening, so was not here for this one either. The next book I have, I did really enjoy, but I only ended up giving it a three, so the rule, you know. It's a very large expanse of Sea by Tahara Mafi. I think that is a very important book, so I'm kind of happy that I'm sending it off to the thrift store because then somebody else can read it as well. The next book I have, I gave a three out of five stars. It's White Bodies by Jane Robbins. It was okay, but it wasn't anything super memorable for me, so it's going off to the thrift store. The next book I have is Looker by Laura Sims. I gave this a two or 2.5 out of 5. I can't really remember, but it was advertised as like this stalker story, but then nothing really happened in the book and it was just kind of boring, so I don't need to keep it on my shelves, but I love the cover, so I'm kind of bummed about it. The next book was, again, a very average book for me. Gave it 3 out of 5 stars. The Rule! I should just call it The Rule now, and you'll all know what I'm talking about because it's basically why I get rid of all my books, but it's Hush by Kate White, just super average, super predictable. I was going to end up giving it a 2.5 out of 5, but the ending I didn't see coming, so I ended up bumping it up to a 3 because I love when I can't see the endings of books, but wasn't really a good one. The next book that I have is A Bedfellow by Jeremy C. Ship. I gave this a 2 out of five stars, I believe. It was just really boring and confusing and jumped from place to place and I didn't really have a good time reading it, so does not need to be on my shelf. And again, this is one that I'm super bummed about because it sounded really cool. It's about this family who gets like their minds infiltrated by this creature and he starts changing their memories. And it just seemed like a cool concept, but just was not executed the way I wanted it to be. The next book that I have is Until Friday Night and this is by Abby Glines. I give this a two out of five stars. It has a very, 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 very unhealthy relationship that just reminded me of my past unhealthy relationships and I was just not up for that reminder. So I did not like it and it's going to the thrift store because I don't want it on my shelf. And then the final book that I have, I ended up giving it one out of five stars because I thought it was super, super boring and I did not enjoy it, but it's The Midnight Dress by Karen Foxley and I just, no. That's it. Alright guys, so that was my unhaul for this time around. Let me know down below if you guys have read any of these and what you thought of them, and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye!